In this demonstration, we're going to go through some surface terrain editing tools similar to what the Generate Longitudinal Feature command would have done in native inroads. We just have a simple building pad, and I'm just going to go through and show a couple commands that we can use to generate longitudinal features uh, down an entire element, just do partial horizontal offsets, um, creating vertical profiles for our elements. So I have this building pad and I'm going to uh, just assign a constant elevation and I'm going to put this at an elevation of 300. Okay, I'll locate the element, reset, and I'm going to set it at 300. You can see that the profile that gets created is at an, a constant elevation of 300. Okay, and what that did is that also created our 3D uh, element. So what I'm going to do first is I want to go ahead and add this building pad into our terrain model. So I'm going to go into our terrain model, add features, select the terrain, select the element, and add it as a break line. So now we have our building pad as a triangulated break line in our terrain. So next what I want to do is I want to create a just a horizontal offset um, just at a, some, uh, an offset around this building pad. So I'm going to come into the um, horizontal geometry and I'm going to do a single offset entire element. With this set I'm also under the feature definitions toggle bar I am going to have it create 3D automatically and this way it will go ahead and create our 3D element, our 3D profile on this element. Okay, so I'm going to locate my element and for my offset I'm just going to do 4 feet. I'm not going to mirror and you'll see that we have an element that is created as an offset from, from this uh, complex shape. Okay, so, uh, that is a 3D element, okay, and it is not created in the in the terrain, but we can select um, that element and we can add that into the terrain. Okay, so we're going to go to terrain modeling and we're just going to add add that 3D feature as well. Okay, and it, and you can see it adds it into the triangulated model. Okay, so that's just creating a a horizontal longitudinal feature uh, no elevation difference uh, we're just creating the the horizontal on that element okay the next thing that I want to do is I want to create an element um, maybe some kind of retaining wall uh, out to the side of this pad uh, and I'm just gonna create it by a slope from our building pad but first I want to create my horizontal element for my retaining wall. So I'm just going to draw a smart line. Okay, and you can see this is just a 2D line. I'm in 2D space. So now I'm going to go to the vertical geometry, profile by slope from element. So I'm going to select, select this element to profile, and then I'm going to locate the reference element and that's just going to be the the edge of my building pad. Okay, and I'm going to enter in a negative 6% slope. Okay, when I data click through, you can see that it has now created my 3D element that is ruled at a 6% slope to this element. And at which point we can now add this element into our terrain. Okay, now that element is added into our terrain. Now we could also do variable slopes uh, for vertical and variable offsets for our horizontal. Uh, 
So I'm going to come in and create a, a horizontal offset. I'm going to do variable offset by taper. Okay, so I'm going to start out with um, locating the element. Okay, and then for the parameters, I'm going to put in an offset, a start offset of 30. And we're going to put an end offset of 50. Okay, and you can see that it's locking in the 50 offset. And as I move uh, down that reference element, uh, it, it keeps her 50 foot offset, but I can pick the location. So I'm just going to select that, and I'm not going to mirror. So now I have a a tapered horizontal offset. And of course, we can come in and we can make edits to these to these values uh, and edit our edit our geometry. Uh, now I want to create a vertical. I'm also going to do a variable slope on my vertical alignment for this point, or for this element. So I'm going to come into the vertical geometry. I'm going to do profile by variable slope from element. Because I want to slope from this building pad, I want to slope down and away to this offset element. Okay, so I'm going to do a linear type. I'm going to locate the plan element that I want to profile, and I'm going to locate the reference element. Okay, so our starting slope, we're just going to start at a negative 2% slope, and we're going to do a drastic drop coming down this element until we get to a negative 20% slope. Okay, no offsets. Now I'm going to open up this profile model of this element. And you can see this is the profile that was generated from that element. It's creating this profile because we have the th Create 3D automatically turned on. So it's using the profile from the source element to assign as a profile. And we're going to come in and we want to assign this uh, as the active profile. And you see that it puts in the element into the 3D. And now we're going to add that element to the terrain. So we're just going to pick the terrain, locate the element, and it's a break line. And you'll see that now we have a, a tapered offset longitudinal feature, and the vertical that's associated to that element is also tapered. So these are just a few of the ways that you can utilize the, the horizontal geometry tools and the vertical geometry tools to create your horizontal offsets and your vertical profiles for your longitudinal features uh, as we build our terrain model.